You're going to get yourself completely wrecked if you do not follow DCA principles. I have been DCA bot trading for at least five years. And the ridiculous thing about DCA bot trading in general is that so many people get it wrong. You would be shocked to find people setting up bots with every imaginable deal start condition, every trigger to start a bot trade, or people just trading DCA style, but not following it from start to finish like we talk about in the Better Traders Journal. The problem is simple. When you use DCA, you need to see it through from start to finish. You cannot cut the trade and panic sell in the middle of a trade or else you will reap disastrous consequences. You will literally destroy your portfolio if you do not DCA properly. And I'm gonna show you a trade that closed in the green after over 100 days using the Better Crypto Signals, 100% hands-free crypto signals that we have available through the Better Traders Club and how they literally killed this whole concept. They put it to rest. You have no idea how ridiculous this is because I didn't look at the chart. I didn't care that the market was dumping. I knew that this was going to close in the green because crypto is forgiving, crypto is emotionally driven, and crypto is just plain awesome to trade as a market. So in this video, I'm going to give you concrete proof and evidence why you should not interfere with your DCA strategy and how it can set you back literally over a year. The ticker in question is Uniswap. I've been running a bot on Uniswap using the better crypto signals. Again, 100% hands-free. These have a fixed take profit target of 5%. So every single time that the bot trades, it's going to be buying and hoping to sell at 5%. This is where the trade actually started right here. It started on June 15th at 1121. If we zoom into the chart right here, June 15th, the bot is designed to take profit at 5%. What happened after this? What some would call a disaster. But we saw all these yellow arrows right here. These are buys and buys and buys. And as the price goes down, Justin Timberlake is probably echoing in your ear, buy, buy, buy portfolio. But the reality is that I am running the better crypto signals across multiple trading pairs to de-risk my portfolio and strategy. So even if I have this one trade that ends up lasting for 104 days, it doesn't really matter because I have plenty of other trades that are closing in profit over and over and over again. So while I'm waiting 104 days for Uniswap to close in the green, which it eventually does, I have other trades closing green in the background to build up my basically my dry powder so that way I can have more funds for bot trading. Pay attention. As the price falls down, things get kind of brutal over here. If we measure it from our entry point here to about 11.30, we're buying more at 9%, buying more at 22%, buying more at 45%, and it keeps going. We see the price fall down a maximum of 58.67%. Most people give up here. This is the zone where most people throw in the towel when their position is down 50%. Because if your position is down 50%, well, you might as well just forget it. You are not meant to be a crypto trader, I guess. You don't have the resilience. You don't have the skills. You don't have the screenshots. You're not going to make it. No, the reality is that this is the moment where you learn how to become a better trader. These are the moments that you build mental resiliency, like I've talked about in recent videos. When your position is down, you are tempted to just cut the rope and take the loss. But the reality is that the amount of volume that you've put into the trade at this time is significant, so significant that this will set you back way over a year to recover the loss. And I have the data to prove it. Keep watching. Even though we were down a maximum of negative 58.67%, lo and behold, we take profit right about there. Negative 32% below our entry. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the eighth wonder of the world dollar cost averaging because dollar cost averaging by doubling down every single order at predefined levels, what I like to call negative price action, the bot's buying more and more. The bot doesn't care what the market's doing. The bot doesn't care what's happening in politics. The bot doesn't care about what's happening globally with wars and terrible things like that. The bot doesn't care who's going to prison, what's happening in crypto. It doesn't care. It is predetermined to buy at set intervals with a fixed amount, doubling down every single time. You, as a human, you cannot adhere to this strategy. I know you can't because I've been trading manually DCA and there are times where I look at the chart and I go, uh, I think it's gonna fall a lot farther. But you know what happens? It goes right back up and I miss my chance to DCA. 
or I follow my strategy and apply the first DCA only to see the price continue to fall further. Then I'm going to be looking at the chart like, well, great, that's it. I'm not going to buy any more of this. Where if I zoom out and I think about where I should be placing my trades and I actually follow through with correct DCA strategy, I get closed on the next pump, which is exactly what happened here with Uniswap. Following DCA strategy laid out by the Better Crypto Signals closes us in the green, even though we have drawdown of negative 32%, negative 32%. That is massive. This is a profitable trade. And we have all of the data right here, starting from when we started the bot back in May of this year, which actually we started, I think in April, but the first signal wasn't received until May for Uniswap. Now, one thing to know about these signals is that they're extremely slow. So sometimes you might have a gap of time between signals and you can see where it got choked up. Here is where we started our trade, 15th of June, right there. This is where we had our first buy. Then we bought more and we bought more and we bought more. And then we finally sold it all. This is ridiculous. Looking at the fact that we bought originally at 1150, give or take, and we sold for profit at 783. This just goes to show how ridiculously powerful and amazing DCA strategy is when you have the right signal and the right mentality. Now, I want to show you some data over here on Google Sheets that is literally going to blow your mind. I have literal proof to show you why you should stick to your DCA strategy if that's what you're going to do. Now, some of you are not fit to do DCA. You've made this mistake. You're going to see why it's so painful. And I'm not trying to poke fun at you, but I'm trying to help you understand why DCA is a specific strategy. And if you don't follow it through, you are literally going to ruin your portfolio. So let's look at the data. Over here, we have all of the recorded buys and sells, as well as a little bit more information over here. In column F, we have cumulative volume, we have profit per trade and cumulative profit. These two are really important to pay attention to because as we DCA, we're adding more into our trade. We don't have simply an average. We have a sum. We're doubling down each time. So our cumulative volume is now going to be $30, give or take, after putting one safety trade in. So when we take profit, our profit's going to be much bigger than if we only took profit with our first injection of volume. So when we double down, when we add funds, when we use DCA, I'm trying to use lots of terms that you maybe have heard me say before. We're putting more into the trade, but that means the payoff is going to be much bigger. Now we can see that generally we're looking at 50 cents, $1.58, 52 cents, 52 cents. This doesn't look amazing. That's because the size is so small. Just add another zero onto all this. You can put in as much as you want into these signals. So of course the profit looks like 53 cents, but if this was $100 in the buy order, then of course the profit would be about five bucks and we'd be looking at 15.80 or so. But when we're putting in more volume, you have to be prepared for the drawdown like you saw in the chart before. So as we continue, we can see we have our, again, this is our Justin Timberlake reference. We got our buy, 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 buy. We have our entry. We have our DCA1, DCA2, DCA3. And as we DCA, we are doubling down each time. So that way the cumulative volume is growing significantly to the point where we are adding a total volume of 150-ish dollars. Now, when we finally take profit, our profit is substantial. Instead of 50 cents, we're closing at $7.87. That is the biggest payday. And again, add another zero to it. If this wasn't $150, maybe it's $1,500 or maybe $15,000. Then this is not going to be $780, but it'll be $78 or $787 profit. It's a nice payday given the fact that usually we're not earning too much over here. Now, here's where things get crazy. I want to show you this graph right here because I want you to understand that the price over time was not going up, but our profit was even when we were making these small little wins. But of course, when we have our last injection of profit at $7.87, it is a huge bump up, okay? So think about that over time. This is just from May, 2024 until September, 2024. It is not a huge amount of time, but think if you ran this for a long amount of time, you're gonna see a massive increase over your portfolio so long as you follow and adhere to DCA strategy. So what does it look like when you panic sell? And just to clarify for the sake of clarification, panic selling is when you are going to decide to exit the trade because you're afraid of what's happening. You don't like how the chart looks. You have a bad feeling in your stomach and you're having a little tummy ache, and you're getting afraid of what's happening instead of sticking to DCA. So this goes completely against what DCA strategy stands for in that you buy and you buy and you double down, double down, and you wait patiently for a rebound. Again, remember back Back at the beginning, I said crypto is a very forgiving and emotionally driven market because we know this to be true for crypto. Even though we can have massive drawdown over 50% for one of these charts, like we saw for Uniswap, we saw it recover and close in the green. But
But let's say for the sake of an example, after adding all of that volume, we decide, you know what? I'm feeling squeamish. I'm just going to take the loss. How much would that actually set you back? Get ready and make sure to you just bandage your jaw because you don't want to hit the floor. I really want to make sure you have that nice Chad jaw still intact. Okay, here we go. So panic selling looks actually fine because the price is doing an okay job. But all of a sudden we see the price going up from eight to 10 to 11. Oh, this is good. And then we're going what, 11, 10, eight, six, five. This is getting really scary. Uh, I think it's time to take a loss. If we sell at a negative 50% drawdown from our entry, we're going to be netting ourselves a loss of 74 that means that our cumulative profit is now negative $68.56. That is a massive, massive hit when you think about how much profit you made so far. We've only made $6.29 and all of a sudden now we have 10 times that amount of a loss that we have to make back. This kind of a loss can set you back monumentally far, like you have no idea. And just to show you what it looks like, I have the same chart here and we can see the price over time is still fine. And when we take that loss, it sets us back so Far. How far, you might ask? So let's go over to Altrady and I want to show you just a sliver of information from the analytics, but there's honestly so much more information here. It's amazing. Right here on Altrady's analytics page for the Better Crypto Signals, so far since running the bot, I've actually made $159. I've actually, re <laughs> what is this? 79% ROI? That is insane. And the best part, win, 107, lost zero win rate a hundred percent hands-free i haven't done anything to the signals i don't intervene i don't even pay attention to them they're just running in the background now i see this i am not blind there's unrealized profit but guess what all of these positions that have already closed were at one time in the red and there are literally hundreds of these positions so I don't really care about this so much. You got to get used to seeing red if you're going to be a DCA bot trader. It's not really a big deal whatsoever. So let's keep going down. The runtime for this, 165 days, earning 79% passively over 165 days. This is ridiculous. That is so amazing. The average PNL, 5%. Average win, 5%. Average loss, zero. Now here's the important information. Average duration for these signals is almost 10 days, but it's averaging it down to nine days. Now the average profit per trade is saying it's it's about 150, which makes a lot of sense. Because if we come down here, we can see our profit over time. Glorious. Look at that up and to the right. And we can see that our profit, while it does have some wild swings, we'll have some days where we close a lot of trades. Some days we don't close anything at all, but everything is closing at 5%. And this is actually even better. I want to show you this. We can see a breakdown of how DCA is used right here on all trading. And this is 100% normal for DCA bot trading, where we see 58 positions, 13% of the time. We're looking at, we'll say, well, 58% of the time, if we have about 107 trades closed. So 60% of the time, which is spot on, we don't use any DCA. We close with just the initial base order. And then 35% of the time we close with our first safety, 8% and 7%. These are actually really good numbers to close because the average PL for these trades is way higher. Now you can see why this is so good. Our total PL for no DCA for all of our trades that have been closed is 28 USDT or about $28. But when we have just seven positions closed with three times our third DCA order, we earn $52 total. So if we think about the total PL distribution, we make way more profit when we are using and exhausting our last safety trade. This is to our benefit. We want to have negative price action. Okay. Let's talk about how do we recover? We have a major loss. We're deciding to panic sell at negative 50%. How much time and how much money and how much per trade, all those questions, how much do we actually need to do to earn back our account, to bring it back up to break even, not even at profit, but break even. We know that the average PNL per trade or per position is about 149. We'll round it up to 150. Okay. And each trade lasts about, we'll say nine days, just to keep things really simple and clean. Now check this out. Average profit per trade. We're talking about a $1.50. Cumulative loss to recover. This is how much money we have to make back based off of this mega loss of $74.85. So the number of trades that are required to earn this back is unfortunately 50. We have to make 50 more positions close in the green in order for us to earn this back. Now, this doesn't sound so bad, to be honest. 50, while it's a lot, at least it's not 500. At least it's not, you know, 1,000. 50 is reasonable. But when we take into account how many days on average do these positions need to close really it's 9.9 .9 days which is a 
that's a long time for each position to close. That means the estimated recovery time in days, it will take approximately 495 days for your portfolio, your bot running these signals to go back up to break even if you don't follow through. I said at the beginning, you have to be extremely careful when you are doing this. You need to be extremely careful that you follow through with proper DCA strategy or else you will literally be paying for it for over a year. You will lose the funds that you once had. You'll have to reduce your order size, which I didn't even mention in this graph, this example, but I don't want to keep things simple to just drive home the fact that you will ruin your portfolio and your performance with DCA if you don't follow through. Now, I understand that DCA is not for everybody. Not everyone is meant to be a DCA bot trader. And while these signals are literally incredible, I mean, you saw the stats, not everyone's able to run these stress-free. And I have courses at The Better Traders that helps you to understand DCA bot trading, to understand trading psychology better, to give you a better grasp and handle of the cryptocurrency markets. You can check out those courses. But even before you get there, I have tons of stuff here on YouTube that'll help you get in the right place. And the first thing I want you to watch this video that shows you how to get rich in the 2024 crypto bull run. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.